okay. So I'm like, I don't know, five or six. And it's summertime. Me and my brother, we're going to go outside, play some basketball. Maybe ride some scooters. Maybe ride some bikes. Maybe go to my friend's house. I don't know. So we go outside. And we hop on our bikes. We ride over to my best friend's house because he lives five minutes away. And, you know, I'm playing with my best friend. We're, I don't know what we're doing. We're probably, you know, having a good time, though. And so there's, like, a retention pond, like, 20 minutes. Not even 20 minutes. Like, 20. Uh, it's, like, a couple minutes away, all right? It's, like, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes away. So we hop on our bikes. We start riding over there. And he's like, I want to show you something really cool. So, like, we ride our bikes over there. We hop the fence to the retention pond. It's not a high fence, but. I mean, for six-year-old me, it was pretty impressive to hop. Hop the fence. We walk down the retention pond, and there's a bunch of turtles, which I was like, whoa. You know, turtles live super close to my house. That's crazy. And there's like, I don't know, they're doing whatever turtles do. And actually, I didn't know this until a couple of days ago because I saw it. There's two turtles in the middle of the road fighting each other. Like, I didn't even know turtles fought. And in case you're wondering, turtle fights are not very entertaining to watch. Anyways, so we're, like, watching the turtles. There's, like, you know, digging little holes and whatever turtles do. But there's, like, a little backpack, like, on the other end of the retention pond. So I'm, like, all right, what is that? So, like, I run over there, and I'm looking at this backpack, and it's, like, it, the backpack's all torn up. There's broken glass around it and inside of it. But a little bit away from the backpack, there's a little needle. So I pick up the needle because I was, like... I don't I, honestly I don't know why I picked it up. I don't know what was going through my mind when I picked up the random needle, but because my friend is a good friend, he hit it out of my hand. But I was kind of mad about it cuz you know, he just hits this needle out of my hand. So I was I'm pretty mad. I'm like, you know, why'd you just do that? You know, like I'm about to fight the dude. And so I get over it in like 6 seconds cuz I really don't care that much. And we like we ride back to my friend's house. And we tell his mom that we saw the turtles, but we also saw a backpack full of broken glass. And I picked up a needle. His mom yelled at me. She was like, you don't pick up random needles off the ground. It, you don't know where it's been. It could have some disease on it. She's like, she's yelling at me. So I go home. And apparently she called my mom. Like, told her. Because, like, she was like, hey, I don't know if he got pricked or anything. But, like, you might want to get him checked out. So, like, she's, like, looking at my arm. I didn't, you know, I didn't prick myself or anything, but she didn't know that. She's looking at my arm. She's freaking out. She's like, oh, why would you pick up? The, she's screaming. Actually, I've never been yelled at this much by my mom in my entire life still. She's like, why would you pick up the needle? What is wrong with you? And Which is, yeah, it's a really good question, actually. Um, But at the end of the day, I didn't prick my hand. I didn't get any diseases. I didn't get no hepatitis. I'm fine. At least I think I'm fine. Maybe I did. I just don't know. Um, But, yeah, that's pretty much it. GG.